Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. About 35 years ago, NASA's James Hansen introduced the idea of a climate tipping point. The idea being that above a certain level of carbon dioxide, everything was going to fall apart and the Earth was going to burn up. Stephen Hawking agreed with him. Earth could turn into a hothouse planet like Venus with boiling oceans and acid rain if humans don't curb irreversible climate change, physicist Stephen Hawking claimed in a recent interview. We are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. Trump's action could push the Earth over the brink to become like Venus. Not only is Earth going to burn up, but it is Donald Trump's fault. In 2008, NASA's James Hansen said, We're toast. We see a tipping point occurring right before our eyes. The Arctic is the first tipping point, and it's occurring exactly the way we said it would. Hansen, echoing work by other scientists, said in five to ten years, the Arctic will be free of sea ice in the summer. Representative Ed Markey, Democrat of Massachusetts, said, Dr. Hansen was right. Twenty years later, we recognize him as a climate prophet. Hansen predicted the Arctic would be ice-free between 2013 and 2018. But the Democrats' climate profit didn't do very well. There's been no trend in the minimum, mean, or maximum Arctic sea ice extent since he made those predictions. The reason why Hansen's predictions failed is because he based them on superstition rather than science. Arctic sea ice extent continues to grow several weeks past the date when it typically starts to melt. Arctic sea ice extent is currently one of the highest of the 21st century, and it's also higher than 1996. Reality is not consistent with the claims from the climate community that the oceans are boiling. The press, academia, and politicians love the idea of catastrophic climate tipping points. The University of Exeter made an authoritative assessment of global tipping points involving more than 200 researchers from over 90 organizations in 26 countries. They say we're soon going to have these climate tipping points which pose threats of a magnitude never faced by humanity. 35 years ago, the United Nations said we were going to reach a tipping point by the year 2000. Governments have a 10-year window of opportunity to solve the greenhouse effect before it goes beyond human control. In 2006, Nobel laureate Al Gore said we'd reach the tipping point by the year 2016. In 2018, Greta Thunberg warned that climate change would wipe out all of humanity unless we stopped using fossil fuels by the year 2023. All of this nonsense from climate academia is very entertaining, but it has nothing to do with reality. We have hundreds of millions of years of Earth's history when carbon dioxide levels and temperatures were much higher. There's no such thing as a climate tipping point. 540 million years ago, carbon dioxide reached its peak 15 times higher than now. The world didn't fall apart, but rather that was the biggest emergence ever of animal species. This graph shows more than 2,000 years of climate history in New Mexico, where I was born. It continuously alternates between wet periods and dry periods. That's why New Mexico is a desert. But each time they have a dry period, climate alarmists claim that the drought has become permanent. Whenever there's a drought in the West, the press declares that it's permanent. But the worst droughts in the West occurred more than 500 years ago. The western U.S. has had very severe droughts lasting for 200 years in the past. These droughts occurred when carbon dioxide levels were much lower. The past five or six hundred years has been unusually wet. There is constant fear-mongering predicting the demise of California skiing. This is what it looked like this afternoon. Rather than disappearing, the amount of snow falling at California ski areas has been increasing to record highs. In 1889, the Southern California Historical Society documented the long history of California's alternating floods and droughts. Droughts in California are not tipping points. They're not due to carbon dioxide. It's the normal climate of California. Over the past 600,000 years, the Earth has alternated between warm periods and ice ages. 
The Earth doesn't burn up during warm periods, and the Earth doesn't turn into a giant snowball during cold periods. Whichever direction it's going, it always reverses at fairly regular intervals. The climate is cyclical. There's no such thing as a tipping point. Academics live in the theoretical world of their climate models, and they ignore hundreds of millions of years of Earth's history, which shows that the models are incorrect. No legitimate scientist would make a mistake that ridiculous, but unfortunately that is the norm in climate academia. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on climate junk science for 16 years. You can visit him and his family on the web at realclimatescience.com.